welcome to Epping Reserve for this Division 3 Grand Final between Mandu and Brad Hill. These two teams have had terrific contests during the year and have led to sets of two apiece. We wish both teams the best of luck in today's Grand Final. We please welcome Sharon Cristalini to sing the National Anthem. And uh, the interesting one is Joffa Byron's pushed up to a wing and uh, we see Abe Williams getting the goal square one-on-one -on -one against Jason Farrella. So an interesting one there, a bit of a, a point there by Hayden to change things around. The first bounce would skewed off the side, so we're going to get it back. Uh, we'll be recorded, we'll get a throw off. But uh, just interesting there, Farrella going back to the score against Williams. I'm not sure if they uh, would have expected that one. Of course, uh, Byron having kicked the 100 goals this year, he's pushed up to a wing. He's, uh, well, he's left a loose fan in the fence because... Uh, Cause he hasn't gone with him now. He has come around as the umpire. We go again. We're way in the grand final. Ball comes to ground level. Parker running onto it. Couldn't quite get a clean possession. Plenty of bodies around this footy. Plenty of big bumps to be had. Ball comes to ground level. A free kick's been paid. It's going to go Panton Hill's way. He's, and, I think Rowan Davies fell into the back of the Panton Hill player. So ball in the middle of the field. Panton Hill will get the first attacking foray forward. Ball kick long. Five behind, it's a good mark taken overhead, and Murder can relieve themselves out of the fence. They have plenty of run. Drake's on the outside if they want to use him. Up oh, not to go longer for Mills. Runs under the footy, but the skipper, Rowan Davies, collects. Runs around and would be tackler. Can chip inside, underside, underside. They went long instead, looking for a teammate there. It was Anderson. Ball comes to the back. Will box at ground level. He's fallen over. Out of the contest now. Owen Draper, he couldn't get involved as well. Kick comes outside from Parker and waiting underneath it to take the mark is Simon Amore. So Panton Hill at half back here. Chip inside. It's a dangerous one. Misses Strongman. Ball ricochets. A chance here for Aquilina involved. Picks it up. Can go on his left boot. First shot at goals across the phase. It won't score and it's out of bounds. Which is always interesting that, uh, that first uh, few minutes. Obviously uh, the skill level it's at. Uh, Anyone nervous with the foot in their hand, you have to be clean with disposal, particularly when you're going across the face of the goal, an early chance miss there for Munda. Not sure what foot Aquilina kicks through, but that was a very weak kick with the left foot, probably the nerves getting a bit better, getting better of him. Panton Hill now clearing out of defence, they go up the far side. There's a contest here, oh, good, well won from Panton Hill player, he handballs it backwards. Oh, good tackle laid in there as very well. Very good tackle, the see, very sloppy. Do you see O'Connor really pushing up the ground hard as well? He was the, the uh, Panton Hill player attacking that footy ball, falls to the front of the pack now, Panton Hill having to defend well here through box, ball spills out, plenty of players around, extracted there again, that's Aquilina, kicks to the top of the goal, so partially smothered, now Panton Hill, another dinky kick, it's going to be cut off, O'Connor has to go again, ball falls to the back of the back, Hutchison, he's a lovely left foot kicking, go from here, from 50, sets it to the top of the goal square, couldn't take the mark there, that was Curlis, ball comes out the back, quick shy on goal is a minus score, so Mernda with the first score of the afternoon, it's one behind Mernda, Panton Hill yet to score, Panton Hill just a bit sloppy at half back. Certainly the nerves right yeah, up at the moment. They're not rebounding 50 with any real system or structure, but they've got they've got Haydock in a lot of space on the broadcast side wing. He's also got he's also got Grimshaw in a lot of space. That's the way they're going to go. The kick clears 50, but under, in a good spot is Hutchison for Murder. He lays a fist. Good the fist. ball comes down. Rowan Davies going after it. A shark by Parker. He kicks it out good towards kick. the wing. The mark finds Haydock. He's going to play on immediately. He looks to go inside 50. He kicks it along the ground, taking it on the bounce is. A Williams. He looks for a handball, but it's cut off. It looks like it's going to be a ball up. Um, no, they win it out. It comes from Hutchison, but he's oh, tackled from tackle. behind. A great tackle there by coming from Haydock, just inside the centre square. Good follow-up work there by Haydock. Be disappointed in that first kick, looking for Williams, who, was, who clearly had his man on the lead there, but uh, troubled it a little bit. But he, he worked back that back out well there as well. Owen Striper going in hard. They're good to see it's some hard contests early in the contest, but it is Dean Haydock with the footy in the middle of the ground. He can chip out wide if he wants Simon and Moore. He's going to opt to go long. 
Byron, wearing the long sleeve, makes an option, goes the other way. The kick's going to land in the lap nearly there for, uh, for Williams. He couldn't take the mark. Quick kick comes out. Fountain Hill's still going to extract the footy strong. Then handles back. Gets it back now to the hands of the... Uh, the, the uh, Long, long the beam Daniel pole, Keen, beam but, uh, as the Myrna coach called him, the beam pole in Daniel Keane. <laughs> the free kick's going to come back outside now, and who's going to take it? It's going to be Keane, he's going to get the free kick. He gave it away, but uh, the umpire says, no, it is your kick. Kicks it inside. It's not a bad looking option, and taking the mark overhead is Kramberg, 45 metres out from goal. Just held up in the, in the breeze there, that, that kick seemed to, to uh, so perhaps it is a slight breeze going Mernder's way, but Kramberg will have to kick this, the best part of uh, 50 metres, perhaps 55 for it to clear the line. The 2011 Coaches Player of the Year comes in, kick isn't up and under, it's not going to have the carry, he's going to fall 10 metres short, attacking it though, the only man really going for it there was uh, Williams, he couldn't take the mark, a free kick's been paid after that, it's going to go Mernder's way. And they can relieve now from defensive goals. Because Hutchison breaks quickly, can use him. So too does the uh, the man wider still the golf. Hutchison though could have gone to O'Reilly, who's still in. Now manned up by Haydock. Chip inside. Owen Straper under it can give off the handball straight away, and they're running through the fence. The one-two. Well, Owen Straper he's fumbled that one. The chance for uh, Patton Hill on the counter. Ball in the hands again. The big man Cranberg running through to 40. Kick on goal looks pretty good. We have the first of the afternoon. Great goal there by the running Ruckman. He missed the first one, but that time on his left foot puts it through from about, I'd say about 40 metres out. What what brought Myrna undone then, Jordan, was the was the handball. It just missed his target. I think he was, I'm not sure who he was actually going for there, but the handball didn't quite come it, off it, as they were rebounding. Owen Schreiber oh. took the mark, gave it quickly, and the, the one-two probably didn't work. He, it, mm. he didn't possess it cleanly. Had he possessed it, he was going to be wrapped up anyway, but uh, the goal's on the fast break. You take them any time, and, and it's Panton Hill with the first score on the board. It's Panton Hill, first goal on the board, rather. One goal straight, six. Myrna, one behind. Ruckman do battle again. Hits the ground without either getting an effective tap on it. Charging through there. Panton Hill going to be a free kick pay for a hold. It might go to the Gilmore in amongst it. He's got the free kick now. Can give him a handball straight away, which he does. Strongman. Kicking inside, so a good kick to the lead. Just, oh, a good score in the end there. That came from O'Reilly. Crowd want free kick, not paid. Haydock comes through. Can break on his left foot now. Kick inside, wasn't clean. Boundary side now. I'm sure uh, the player there in Farrell will be happy for this to go out of bounds. And uh, he allows it to do so. So, Panton Hill with uh, some early clearances now. Working the ball for the hour. One goal straight, six leading Myrna, one behind. Keen will do the ruck work in the forward 50 here for Panton Hill. The ball's thrown in. McRae gets the tap down, it goes straight to ground. Keane off the ground, has he kicked the goal? He's got that. The he beanpole. Has. Go beanpole. Keane, very good goal off the ground. The Ruckman doing the work in the forward line. We had Cranberg in the centre of the ground. Keane was doing the ruck work and, well, rode his own ruck work really and socketed it off the ground for Patton Hill's second goal of the day. It's two goals straight Patton Hill to Myrna, just one behind. That's a, a big plus for, uh, or a big win there for, for Patton Hill early on. The two big men getting amongst the goals. Opportunistic one there. That uh, ball just bounced up and he just hacked it out of midair at the front of the goal square and uh, it went through for, for, for a goal but the two big men getting involved early creating some scoreboard pressure and it's Panton Hill off to the dream start leading this encounter 12 to 1 as a, a good bounce by the umpire flicked at the back by Trenberg trapped though by Jesse Owen Draper who thumps the ball inside 50 leading the foot race Tim Anderson will it sit for him it does he puts it out in front of him doesn't take clean possession he's trailed there by his opponent and gun and the ball now finds its way out of bounds Mernd able to lock it in about 30 metres out from goal would love the next one so already, yeah, so already it's the two big men for Panton Hill who have kicked the goals, but in unconventional, I suppose, big man goals, if yeah. you could say that. Yeah, a hack out of the air and also yeah, the one running straight goal. into the open goal. So ball falls to the back of the pack, picked up there by uh, the player there in Aquilina. Might be holding, the ball. holding the ball, incorrect disposal, that one there. And Mernd, uh, Panton Hill rather, can repel from half back now. Williams going wide outside, looking for his target and strongman. Ball uh, evades the pack and trickles out of bounds on the far side, the high street wing. It bounces a couple of times on that on that former drive's <laughs> wind screen. I'm sure the driver of that car would have loved that. So we're directly directly opposite us. Craneberg's going to win this one down by looks of things. No, drops short. Comes to Davies. Handball fired out by Davies. The kick comes. Looks like it's going to be running onto it. Is Strongwind. Oh, good hit. Doesn't quite pick it up. As he said, a really good hit. A few players around this pack. Parker fighting for it. He's on his hands and knees. Straight in, though. Straight in for Myrna is Tim Atkins. We're going to have another ball up. We're about 55 metres away from Myrna's goal. Great to see some, yeah, some big hard hits early on. Players just going uh, hammer and tong at the footy. As, uh, we see Jai Robertson there push up to this contest here. Ball comes to the back. 
which way is going to go? Well, Jim Robertson's hands flicks it forward, attacking the footy there for, for Panton Hill, but overrunning it was Grimshaw. Falls to the back of the pack, falls to Rees. Rees on his left, handballs over the top, didn't quite work out. Intercepted by Box. Handball comes outside now. Bryce is on the outside. He can go over the top. He's got a man there in Burn. Uses him. Burn, we, he feigned one way, went the other, kicked down the line. Well, to no one in particular, but it's going to be a free kick downfield against Nathan Mills. He really didn't need to do that though, Samuel, because they had, he had no numbers. They, they had three men on the outside there, uh, Myrna, so he'll be disappointed in that one. Mills yeah. trying to exude his uh, presence on the contest, but uh, gives one away and gives away a scoring opportunity as well because they had the numbers at half forward as Dean Haydock took the advantage and played it up the ground to Jason Darcy Malloy, who hits a Keen. beautiful kick to Keane, who's been promising early off to Ben Parker. His kick was a partially smothered. It doesn't travel that far, no. It was just a, uh, a wonky kick off the boot. It lands in the arms of Brendan O'Connor, and Panton Hill is off to a flying start here. Brendan O'Connor will shoot from about 30 metres out directly in front, and that downfield uh, free kick against Nathan Mills could have bigger repercussions because Brendan O'Connor will come in now and potentially put Panton Hill's third on the board from 30 metres. Just stabs at it. It's going to do enough to hold its line. And Panton Hill off to a dream start. Three goals straight, 18. Mernda one behind. All the players so far with Panton Hill, they've looked really lively going forward. And it's the big men doing the damage. Cranberg with one, Keane with another, and that goal there to Brendan O'Connor. Well, they're taking their opportunities, Panton Hill, when they're going forward. Mernda have been inside 50 a few times, but they haven't really done anything with it. Panton Hill have been inside 450, what, three or four times, David? And, and they've had... Uh, Three goals really. Loved Keane's attack on the footy there. He just took the big mark at centre half forward. Gave it off quickly. It just ensures the ball gets in uh, as quickly as possible. It doesn't allow the Myrna backs to get back and uh, get in front of the, uh, the tall. So he's really attacking the footy hard as McRae tried to win that one down. Owen Straper winning hard. He'll get one high there against the Ruckman in Cranberg. Haydock's so, been important early too, hasn't he? He has had a lot of disposal. Owen Straper now right in the heart of Epping Recreation Reserve. Chips the ball up to half forward. Who's going to fly for this one? Mills has front spot. He couldn't quite take the clean grab. Ball falls to the front of the pack. In the hands of Byrne. Quick kick comes out. Haydock. Now the foot race. Going to get there first. It looks like it's going to be Saddington. Give up the handle. Elected to go the snap around the body. It was a good one. Put his teammate in space. O'Donnell. Will the ball sit from? It doesn't quite. Allows the uh, the man to Patton Hill to get across in Darcy Malloy. We'll have a throw in. High street wing. Patton Hill leading this one. Three straight 18 to Murder One behind. It looks like Haydock for Panton Hill and Hutchison for Myrna are guarding that wing position on the broadcast side, but they're, they're still playing about 20 metres apart from each other, Jordan. So they're almost playing, they're almost taking each other on. Cranberg won the tap down, but he won the free kick as well, and he goes forward up to the half forward flank. A good mark taken there. And Panton Hill just there. Uh, free kick paid, maybe for a push. It has been awarded, awarded a free kick, so Myrna will have it now on their half back flank, and they'll go straight back up from where, where it came. Go up the wing, the mark can't be taken. Rowan Davies trying to run onto this one. Gets control, well done from Rowan Davies. Handballs it off, centrally into the middle of the ground. Coming back out to the wing now, up to the half forward flank, but the kick evades everyone. Out and on the full. Out on the full, is it? It's just been the difference probably so far. Going forward, uh, Pantene has been far more direct and, and more efficient in their movements. Mernda has been forced wide and uh, the skill execution hasn't quite been there. As that kick ends up out of bounds on the full. Potential option to chip inside. Simon and Moore's made room, and he's going to get this footy now. He's got Parker in space in the centre of the ground if he sees him. He he's opens still up the there. whole ground if he finds him. He's gone instead to uh, Keane, who can't quite take the mark overhead. Wrong option there, but Keane's done really well. Second effort, handballs it out, and he's going to chase up the footy again. He's done magnificent work there. Gets it off to his fellow Ruckman, Cranberg, going into full forward, and the mark's taken. About 45 metres out from goal, it's Brendan O'Connor again, and... Uh, how about Daniel Keane once more? He's attacking the foot, he's been superb, he's just really set the tone early on. He's kicked one, he uh, took the big mark to set up the third, and that time there, three effort, efforts, and the ball chipped inside, well the wrong option there by O'Connor, he went to chip inside, but it's going to be turned over, and now Mernda can run it out of half back. the long kick up to the wing of foot race, Bryce up against Robertson, both Keeping along the first line, Robertson did really well there, laid the body work and ran onto the uh, loose football, chip inside, well that might be downfield, it is. And it's going to go against Anthony Bryce. He'd be disappointed that he got worked out of the contest, but uh, I guess the more disappointing aspect of that was how he responded and, and giving away a really soft free kick when Mernders found it really tough to hit a target up early in the uh, early in the piece. To give away a shot on goal will be extremely frustrating. And for Mernda, well, the man to take this kick, Jordan's Cameron Curlis. And we saw him have <laughs> a few troubles in front of goal earlier in the season, particularly against Reservoir, where he kicked, uh, I think it was five behinds before he registered the goal. But... Uh, He's a chance here to get inside a much-needed goal here. They are trailing by 17 points. Well, he definitely needs to have his kicking boots on today. He needs to be accurate. So, Mona can uh, hopefully have a chance of winning this grand final. Coming in 
from about 40 metres out. Right foot kick on the way, but it fades out to the left. And, well, you don't want to see that from Cameron Curlis because uh, his confidence did go down a few times. So definitely had a bit of a shot when uh, he kicked a few behinds in that game we saw. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Adok in space again, Jordan. It's, uh, the, well, the chip has gone shorter instead. It's gone to uh, Nathan Brundle. But you just talked in the pre-match about the importance of uh, converting your chances when they present themselves, particularly early on. And you see from the scoreboard, Myrna two behinds. Panton Hill is three goals straight, 18. So Panton Hill certainly have... Uh, with the more accurate kicking, uh, taking the most of their chances with the three straight goals as Cranberg was being good early, goes long, looking for Williams, stands under the footy, getting it to the back of the pack. It was Atkins, couldn't hold the mark also for, for Murder. The pack converges. Brendan O'Connor at the bottom of that one, he's worked up the field. You can see that uh, Luke Howard dropped the kick behind the play here for Murder. So if Panton Hill does win the footy out, it's probably going to be uh, turned over quickly. Numbers now for the footy. Dean Haydock, good tackle came from Rowan Davies. It's Ben Parker lays a big yeah. bump there on uh, Tommy Dayton. And uh, he'll be feeling the effects of that one. A, a bigger body midfield, isn't he? Ben Parker loves the hard footy. Um, he shaved the mohawk, which makes it a little more difficult for us commentators, though. It was a good do they had last uh, last time these sides met us. The ball now works inside 50 for Murna. Drop the ball. Quick kick came out from Volpe. Couldn't be controlled. Going again there. That was Rees. Davies, handball over the head. Sets up the teammate Anderson. Another handball inside the ball. Just doesn't sit, though. A chance for Murna to lay the big tackle. And it's Aquilina who got the unfortunate bounce, who eventually laid the tackle Murna's way. But uh, things just not early in the piece anyway, just not working out for Myrna as such, but uh, only early days, 2 place 18 Ruckman flew there for, for uh, Myrna, that was uh, Curlis, didn't get a, a touch on the footy though, ball extracted out to 50, Haydock attacking it, falls to the back of the pack, ball in hand ha Howard, got it outside, standing start, that's Volpe, puts it to the top of the goal square, oh, good mark taken though in the uh, last time of the fence, that's Cranberg he's been everywhere early, he's kicked the first goal of the game, he's taken marks down in the fence and he's a breaking left foot kick. This one always had a bit each way. He's found a teammate there in Bryce. He fumbled it, but he had plenty of uh, teammates in assistance. One's Grimshaw. Went out wider still. Out in that far half-back flank. Chip comes inside. In the space there was Darcy Malloy. The ball eluded him, though, but they're still going to work outside. They've got a man deep. It's O'Connor who's worked forward. He's got no opponent on him. Ball falls, though, to his teammate. Can go inside. His snap on goal. He's going to go across the face of goal and out of bounds as uh, Brett Thorne had also made his way into space as well. The kick from Williams wasn't on target, but uh, a quick transition there. They really cut them open with the wide spread there. As and you said, it nearly had Brendan O'Connor running into an open goal, but the maybe just a few metres short. So the ball's going to be thrown in. The ball gets one down. Falls down to falls down to the Murder player, but he's going to be wrapped up immediately. The ball falls out. They're going to rebound now through the rebounding through Saddington. They clear the 50. The kick is going over the head, but leading the foot race is O'Donnell. Does he pick it up? Yes, he does. Does he take a bounce? He does. The ground is obviously drying up a little bit. The kick over the top. He's going to hit his man in Rees. Rees plays on immediately. Fumbles a little bit. Can he pick it up in time? He does. He's under pressure though. Handball back to handball back to his player in O'Donnell. He handles over again. Rowan Davies is held up immediately. The crowd want ball. But he's paying a high tackle. Rowan Davies, the skipper for Murner, is going to have a shot on goal, you'd think, from about 45 metres out for a high tackle. Love that bit of play there by uh, O'Donnell. Just backed his, uh, his judgment. Knew he had the pace and his opponent just ran off him. It wasn't the, uh, the cleanest handball over the top. Uh, had Reeds in space, but he missed him. But again, showed that there again. Ran, ran for a second effort, but just moments like that can just spark a team I guess that hard running a bit of confidence there knew he had the pace over his opponent and just uh, continued to, to push hard up the ground as Davies now his side needs their first goal still can the captain deliver kick's going to go right to the goal line and it just uh, gets out the back of the pack but it's only a minor score and it's Panton Hill leading this contest three goals straight 18 Murder three behinds we've played about 18 minutes in the first quarter in general play you'd say Murder is still there though the it's, uh, they've had plenty of the footy in the, in the last five minutes, haven't they? The ball's right, always been in there attacking half of the ground. Just haven't got that first goal that uh, they, they so desperately crave. As that long kick out of the fence is marked on the chest by Zach Williams. He plays on straight away, kicks it up to the wing. Well, that kick's going to fall short. He was looking for Kelly Legasic, chopped off by Joel O'Reilly. Kicking to Mills, who's going to fly. Got two hands on it, couldn't bring it to ground. Rees attacked the footy. A good tackle laid by Zach Williams. Going hard there was uh, Anderson, couldn't take the clean possession. Ball comes at the back now, Thorne can play on. He's got, oh, well, he tried to get through Owens Draper, he did that, but Matty Rees came from behind and laid the, an, an equally impressive tackle. And he'll get the ball now, a free kick, 55 metres out from goal. Panton Hill, you can see, they just set the numbers uh, at the back of the pack. He, you see Cranberg's already won, just lining up, and so too will Box. The ball going in the direction of Box, he gets two hands on the footy though, and he takes a defensive mark. 
had to just lower the eyes. If they had numbers, they're probably peeling yeah, out. Like they needed half more movement, forward. I think, Jordan. You'd probably agree. They had the big man set up in the back, in the back 50, defensive 50. There, they needed maybe, maybe some extra movement from their forwards. As Jason Darcy Malloy runs off half back now, kick up the wing. Well, that's a, a not a not a pretty kick, and it ends up might have been out of bounds on the full umpire. I think is a judge it to have bounced prior to the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in. Of course, you can get all the live scores on the NFL live score application. Just follow all the prompts on the NFL website, www.nfl.org.au. Otherwise, on m.nfl.org.au. Uh, the score here is Mernda, three behinds. Panton Hill, three goals straight, 18. Ruckman to do the work. Now it's Atkins. He's going to go up against, uh, looks like it's uh, Byron who did a bit of ruck work there. Ball falls to the front of the pack. In and amongst it there, Robertson's skirting the packs, in fact. He can't get a hand on the footing. The umpire calls for the ball again around the grounds. North Heidelberg, well, after a flyer, 28 minutes into the first quarter. North Heidelberg, 6 5 41, leading Fitzroy Stars two behinds. Montmorency at quarter time, three goals straight, 18. They've settled, but there's still three goals down against Heidelberg, 6 1 37. Ball works its way at the half forward now for Panton Hill. Brett Thorne will he kick off the boot, slew it out sideways, and it's out of bounds on the full. Moon is certainly need the, the next one. If, if they can kick it, obviously the margin, just the uh, nine points, anyone's game. But if, if Panton Hill kick it, well, it certainly opens up a, a healthy healthy buffer. It would be 21 points if it goes the way of the Redbacks. We well, think, Moon, it's crucial for them to score the next goal. They're up on half back now. I think it's Saddington. Uh, right half back for Murna. He just goes a little chip kick. Doesn't hit the target in Davies. Ball comes to ground. Thorns in there, but his handball is wayward. It goes to Hutchinson. His kick along the ground is wayward as well. And Craneberg here for Panton Hill. Can't get the handball on target. Yeah, Plenty of players around this. And it's... As uh, the play is underway, getting long forward into Mills. Couldn't quite take the mark. Ball though, falls to the front of the pack. Robinson overrun it. Box picks it up. Box running out of half back. Too slow in that situation there. Quick kick take. Ball is going across the face. Might take a right turn. Bounce in for a goal. It's a fortunate one, but it's a goal. And Murder has the first goal of the morning, of the afternoon rather. 1 3 9 Murnda. Panton Hill, three goals straight, 18. Did the hard way, a bit of fortune there, but the ball goes in for a goal and uh, a much needed one for Murnda, probably just the luck they needed early on. I'll tell you what, my time really with them. Yeah, I was going to say. Very happy with that off spin. That was a, that was a crazy bounce. <laughs> very, very, fortunate, very good. Very fortunate though. And uh, ball back in the hands of the umpire. Back in the ruck, Craneberg. He's been uh, sensational in the game. It's going to fly for this one here, tapped over the way of, of, of Myrna by Atkins, but it's Ben Parker running onto the footy, kicks it out to that high street wing, ball taken in front, good mark, good mark. taken overhead. He's got O'Connor in space. He's looking for him now, O'Connor's manned by Saddington though now, as the ball comes to the back of the pack, good spoil, Saddington's going to be the first to run onto this one, he can get out to Hutchinson if he's clean, he couldn't quite take clean possession first up though. And the ball trickles out of bounds. We see a bit of work off the ball by Abe Williams. And it's going to be a free kick against a, a high touch there. So Mernda can repel. Last line of defence. Have just kicked that settling goal. 1-3-9 Mernda. Panton Hill three goals straight. 18. Chips it up the line now. They've got a longer option in front of us. O'Reilly. Oh, coming across taking a great mark. There is Ben Parker for Panton Hill. Gives it off quickly. That's a strongman. And he's kicked up the line. Well, it wasn't marked cleanly there. That was uh, O'Connor thing attacking the footy. He's come out the other way. O'Reilly on the counter. He overran it. Coming in hard there. It was Strongman. Trying to break two tackles was Bryce. Handballs into the middle of the ground. Legasic and Strongman. Legasic picks it up. He's running, running the wrong way though. And Robinson's barging through. Ball slips at the back. Volpe's loose if they find him. He chipped in. So oh, the, the, hand, well, the kick rather was smothered. And we'll caught in two minds at the Pat Hill defender. He's going to be gone behind the ball. Here he is. Robert Guess. Had a bit each way, tried to get the handle out twice, didn't know what to do with it eventually, and he was wrapped up. And uh, the ball now in the hands of the Murder man, that's Jacob O'Donnell. Uh, just that, uh, that grand final intensity, so get, uh, guess just double, uh, double guessing himself really in the... Uh, Nicely done there, Samuel. The second, <laughs> the second big tackle laid there is uh, we have a, a few technical issues with the, uh, the radio mics as well. I think we're back on board and uh, <laughs> the ball in the hands here of uh, O'Donnell chipping in short and that's not the, good, the best kick. Bryce couldn't take the mark. Ball falls to uh, the man at the back of the pack. That was Anderson. Now going to be uh, swept out of the fence by Robert Guest. Long kick up the line. Flying from behind. Good spoil made. That was by Howard. Getting close to the boundary. Kept in now. Can kick a centering ball now. Top of the square. What's a fortunate one. Ends up hitting Anderson. Almost in the face. Running through Owen Draper on the crumb. Couldn't take it cleanly. Handball out wide. A very uh, sloppy passage of play. I think both sides would like the boundary line here. And we'll get a throw in there. 
Anderson didn't expect that one, did he? It was a, a grubber almost of a kick, and it, uh, it almost it wasn't a situation where he attacked the ball. It almost just hit him on unexpectedly in uh, a throw in now 40 metres out from Mernda's goal. A lot of the disposal in this first quarter has been very sloppy. I hope in the second quarter that they can uh, just hit the targets a bit, a bit straighter. Probably those grand final nerves. Ball's locked up here in uh, Mernda's forward 50 and will be a stoppage right at centre half forward. I, hope, I think all these nerves are getting to the players because a lot of the a lot of the handballs and the kicks have just been along the ground or a bit wayward and just not really hitting the targets. Patton Hill now clear out of defence but that was a poor kick and it goes straight into the arms of Luke Howard for Mernda and he'll look to go back straight inside 50. He's got O'Reilly out in space. He just goes a bit further of him. And the, oh, good hard take by Atkin. The tall midfielder has gone forward. He's taken a great mark and he'll have a shot at goal from about 40 metres out for Mernda. He was in a pack of about 10 players. And, and he come from about third or fourth behind there. Yeah, Atkin's the big it, fella. And he took a great mark as well. As the quarter's progressed, you just feel that uh, Mernda's certainly getting on top in the, uh, yeah. in the, in the especially in the middle of the ground. They're bringing a lot more of the clearances, uh, looking a lot more uh, lively going forward as well. And Atkins now can uh, trim the margin to what would be uh, less than a kick if this one goes through the big sticks. Atkins comes in. Kick was pretty straight off the boot. Might not have the legs. Just no, the umpire, free kick's the umpire been likes paid. It. It's going to go, it might be Patton Hill's way for a nudge out in the goal square. And uh, it's Tristan Craneberg on the last line of the fence. I reckon that might have actually cleared the pack originally. So it may, may have been paid a goal otherwise, but uh, the free kick paid. Goes quickly. Hutchison flies for Myrna. Couldn't quite bring the mark to ground level. Going in hard there's Byron. And he's going to get a free kick for a push in the back. So it's interesting that he's been uh, worked further up the field today, kicking it long up into the arms of uh, Zach Williams. He probably just ran under that one a fraction. Handball away. That was made by the Murder Man in Howe. It's, it's going to be turned over. Legasic just throws the ball on the boot. It might land in the lap of Abe Williams. Attacks the footy. Goes again. Couldn't take it at ground level. Atkins gets in. Went for the big bump. Missed him in the end. Falls to uh, Causey. Causey couldn't get a, a clean touch out. Now, plenty of numbers around this pack going in hard there, and perhaps winning the free kick is going to be. It's actually going to go against Atkins there, and the umpire judged that he got Legastic high, so uh, he ran it at the footy hard. And he might have to give this one, a, <laughs> give it back to him, uh, risk the uh, opportunity of giving it a 50 metre penalty. Greenberg making some space now, that's where he's going to go. He's going to take a mark uncontested, and he's about 45 metres out. That was. Probably bad checking from Myrna there, but sorry Samuel, sorry to Just cut you off. Just saw the emergency umpire come out as well, and Kane Gilmore received the yellow card as well. So as that went on, uh, a good spot up by, by yourself there. Uh, Dave, but uh, Cranberg's pushed forward. He's just working end-to-end -end so magnificently. We saw him on the last line of defence affect the spoil, and now he uh, has a shot on goal. Well, that's another up and under kick. That won't have the distance. Cause he's going to come across the front of the pack. Didn't get there in time, but uh, Reese tapped it forward, partially smothered there by Brett Thorne, and it's out of bounds. Ten metres out from the Panton Hill goal, leading this contest here, 1-3-9 to three goals straight, 18 Panton Hill by nine points. The umpire to throw it in again. Atkins there to do the ruck work. We'll go up against Keane. Coming up third man was O'Connor. Didn't really get a fist on the footy. Ball falls to the back of the pack. Is an effort made to get rid of this ball. The umpire says no. Holding the ball. Murder's way. Now at halfback. Can they switch it? Plenty of numbers moving centrally. Hutchison is one. It would be a dangerous kick if they were to go there. Perhaps uh, better advice to go long down the line. It looks likely that he will go long down the line, and that's what he does. But sitting right underneath that is Panton Hills Cranberg. Again, not for the first time today. Handball straight to Parker. Parker will look to send them inside 50. He does so with a long kick. Sitting underneath that is Williams. Oh, does he hold it? He does. Great grab by Williams there. Just used his body oh so well and yep. uh, nudged his man underneath the footy. And, and once the ball fell <laughs> to, to uh, the ground level, he just had to sit. And Zach Williams takes the big mark about 30 metres out. They're bigger bodies, aren't they? They're not the tallest forward line when they've got Abe Williams up there. So too uh, Byron. He's obviously a prolific goal kicker, but not, not blessed with uh, great height. But uh, very uh, stocky players, aren't they? And one-on-one -on -one situations you're back in most times. Jordan, do you think it bothers the, as the siren goes for quarter time? Well, just before he has a shot on goal, Jordan, do you think it bothers the coach, Myrna coach Brett Wilson, when they kick down the line directly down the throat of the biggest hands and heel player on the ground? As uh, we just see the kick coming in now from Williams, from 40, off the boot, looks like it's going Quite across score. the face of goal, Quite and we don't get uh, any score at all registered, so at quarter time, it's Panton Hill with the nine-point advantage. Panton Hill, three goals straight, 18. Mernda, 1-3-9. The goal kicker so far. The first goal of the game come from a, a running Tristan Kramberg in the ruck. Uh, a lovely goal from about 35 metres out. The second by Daniel Keane, a hack out of the air on the edge of the goal square. And Brendan O'Connor kicked Panton Hill's third. It opened up a, a handy little buffer of 17 points. Mernda hitting back late in the quarter to uh, bring it to a, a nine-point buffer at quarter time. 
what's shaping is a great game of footy. We'll be back after the break to have a, a bit of a, a review of the first quarter, give you all the around the ground scores too. On your local station, 88.6, Plenty Valley FM. Heidelberg 7547 leading Fitzroy Stars two behind as we are ready to go again here in the second quarter and uh, to take it away it's Tristan Craneberg up in the ruck against uh, Big McRae. McRae well he was favoured by the bounce and won it down to his on baller there looking for the free that was Robinson just dropped it in front of him Legassi got it out wide looking there for Ben Parker couldn't take it and Robinson came in Kicks the ball long up the line. It's a good mark taken at half forward. Can chip inside. Hutchinson was loose. Once the ball didn't get it. Look, looking for Davies. He couldn't take the mark either. Ball falls to the front. Pantanil handball out came from Bryce. Now the quick kick out is going to land in the arms of uh, the man getting back there is Kelly Legasic, and he takes the mark on his defensive 50. Legasic now moves out wide. Looks for a target. There's a one-on-one -on -one contest out on the outer side. I'm pretty sure that's uh, strong enough there. Holding the man. This is paid, I believe. So it'll go, the way way, it'll go the way of Miranda. They'll have it now, trying to go back inside 50. They need another goal here. I reckon they uh, need a goal to try and lift their confidence. Good mark taken there well, on the outer side. Rees. There's Rees. Good player, Rees. He goes inside forward 50 now, looking for Davies. Davies just can't take the mark. Drops it at the final moment. And uh, well, O'Connor's back there for Pan Hill. Ball just bobbling around. Pinballing around there. Ball comes out now. Jai Robinson's able to take it. Rees on the outside again. He takes on one tackler, handled inside to Davies. He's under the pump straight away. A good tackle comes from behind and we will have a ball up. The ball at half forward for Munda. High street side of the ground. Big crowd around today. Cars all the way around. Great to see such a big turnout as the ball now comes to the front of the pack. Panton Hill with the numbers there, looking for the free. Again, there was, uh, I think it might have been Bryce on that far side of the ground, throwing the arms back out, but uh, none giving. And we'll have a boundary throw in. 60 metres out from the Moon to go, doing the ruck work against Cranberg, up against McRae. Cranberg was great in that first quarter. McRae won that one down though. Hutchison picks up, gives it off to McRae. High kick and up and under. Won't be 15. Umpire waves play on. Cranberg jumped in almost another ruck contest. He came out the back there. He uh, fisted it wide and we have a throw in. Similar position to the last one. It's still 60 metres out from Murna's goal. Trailing here, 139 to three goals straight, 18. Remembering all the live scores around the grounds can be found at nfl.org.au or m.nfl.org.au. The ball slips out to Robinson. Quick kick up to the top of the goal square. Coming hard at the ball was foul. He couldn't affect the, uh, any... Uh, <laughs> or couldn't get a hand on the footy there, rather, as uh, Matty Rees watched the ball go out of bounds. Bryce now uh, following uh, Matty Aquilina. We we'll see it's uh, Will Box on uh, on Rowan Davies. So the two captains on each other as the ball comes at the back. Foul doing the ruck. Barges through the pack. Kick was smothered. It's still going to come out to Davies. Can he control it? He couldn't quite. And uh, a chance here for Panton Hill to rush a minor score. And they do just that off Nathan Grimshaw's hand. So Mernda with the first score of this quarter is a minor score. It's 1-4-10 to Panton Hill. Three goals straight, 18. David, in the first quarter you're asking about uh, about Cranberg and I just... You know, it, it's, such, it's such a great tool to have in your team, isn't it? A, a, a ruckman that can go forward, back, kick a goal. It's such a great utility uh, player to have. Patton Hill now looking to go forward uh, in the middle of the ground. Oh, Strongman almost got tackled there. And he actually... Uh, a throw out there. It might have been incorrect disposal. So it is going to go the way of Mernda. Switch inside here. They've given the ball up to Drake. Took a magnificent mark last time their side. Okay. That kick. We went to go into the middle of the ground. He had two players. One was O'Reilly. Uh, but it was cut off there, and now a chance for uh, Ant Hill moving forward through Williams. Took a good mark at the lead, about 45 out, which is where the man stands the mark. Would have to kick it over 50 on the left, goes wider to Parker. No real metre advantage there. He's probably actually gone back five metres as Parker plays on straight away, kicks it to Cranberg, one out. Will he fly? He does, the big man. He had this. As sit. if on cue, Jordan. You were speaking <laughs> of him only a few minutes ago. As if on cue. If he keeps going at this rate, he'd, he'd be. Uh, he'd be a shoo-in for, for MVP. Of he, the he's game. been dominant, hasn't he? And, and he would be uh, at this early stage. He would have been the best player on the ground, but uh, a chance as well to kick his second goal. Remembering he also has done some fine work. Um, you know, playing a kick behind the play as well as he comes in now on that left boot. Umpire doesn't do much work at all. It's a great kick on goal by Cranberg. And he has his second goal of the afternoon, Tristan Cranberg. Panton Hill, four goals straight, 24, leading Mernda, 1-4-10. And uh, Mernda, well, they had an opportunity down the other end of the ground, but that uh, switch inside didn't quite pay off. And, and Panton Hill certainly made them pay down the other end, Jordan. Well, it's just another case of, of Mernda not taking their opportunities. And Panton Hill, every time they've gone inside 50, almost every time they've gone inside 50, they've kicked a goal. And, you know, we see them the first time this quarter they've gone inside 50. Cranberg's got another goal. And, you know, Mernda's just not 
not taking uh, the opportunities as much as Pant Hill are. Back in the middle now, Kramer gets the tap down. Ball hits the ground. Parker is in there, but eventually Murda clear it out. Doesn't really go to any target here. Ball's on the ground just at centre-half forward for Murda. Eventually comes out and goes up to the goal square. Oh, good mark taken from Bell. And he'll line up for goal, hopefully, to uh, get Murda. Well, within uh, how? Within uh, no, eight points would be eight actually points. with that minor score. Just on Fell, he's, he's a good foil when he goes up forward. He's a, he's a big body, and, and uh, in the one-on-one -on -one situation, you back him uh, to uh, to outbody his opponent. That time there, just held him off with one arm, and, and with the other one, just holding the grab. And he's uh, he's made his presence felt, particularly in this quarter. He was uh, he was lively in, in a few passages earlier in the quarter. Now a chance and really shouldn't have too many problems here. He's a long way back off the mark though, kicked it from 30 and had no trouble whatsoever with it anyway. And the first goal to uh, Tommy Fell for the afternoon gets his side back with it, eight points. Murnda, two goals, four, 16. Pant and Hill, four goals straight, 24. The quick reply, just what the doctor ordered, but interesting uh, approach at goal because the man on the mark stood just, yeah. just outside the goal, so he kicked it from about 30 metres out, so certainly had more space uh, to creep in on, but uh, didn't make any uh, any difference there. He kicks a, a much needed goal for Murnda. Certainly Murnda. back in the contest, an eight-point game. Murnda definitely not out of this one, and they're only just uh, one or two goals behind. Back in the centre of the ground now, Cranberg doing the ruck work, gets it down to his midfielder in Parker, no, uh, Abe Williams, my mistake. Ball's just locked up, and the umpire should call for a secondary uh, ball up, and he does. It's a great contest in the middle of the ground, isn't it? The, the, the Pound Hill midfielders are great, and look, the one thing that Pound Hill really do really well is get players around the ball. They just play crowded footy, and you can see here they've got about eight players around this ball. And again, we look like to have uh, another ball up. It's almost like that rugby uh, strong, that it one is. there, with, uh, it was Anthony Bryce just trying to barrage his, his way, a little barge his way through, rather, as the umpire puts that one down. A nice tap at the back was by Cranberg, but uh, it was Shark, and now a chance for Mills, pushed off an opponent, handballed out to uh, Huxton, here's a left foot kick, goes on the right, makes Breeze wait for it, on the one-on-one, -on -one. it was touched uh, by his defender there, and uh, we'll have another ball up, this time 40 metres out, as we get a bit of advice in from uh, the crowd as well, I think uh, it's a bit hard, it was on the uh, on the non-preferred there, Hutchison, so he did work it up the line to... Uh, to his teammate as uh, Cranberg again wins that one there, but again Shark by Murder on ball at Hutchinson this time, coming in with a hard body to Jason Darcy Malloy, and we'll have another ball up, still 40 metres out from goal for Murder. Cranberg, he's winning most of the right contest today, that one no exception, it's going to be a free kick in the back, and that one's paid there to Ben Strongman, and 50 metres paid as well, the ball not given back, and Strongman will now move his way up the field to get up to the wing now, and Murna getting as many numbers back as they can. Byron breaks quickly. Yeah, he can't but, take uh, the kick just yet. Yeah, he's uh, behind the marks. Still, still going to push up uh, 20 metres as uh, Byron sends the ball back to Strongman. Really, really unnecessary. He should just run the ball back straight away. He looks like Joffa Byron splits the middle of two players there to eventually come to Cranberg. He sends them inside 50. His target is it going to be the beam pole? The man is it going to be Re Keen? Comes down to Keen. The man I spoke of. He sets a man up. Yeah, that's good. Taking a mark about 35 metres out. He's taking a mark. It is Zach Zachary Williams. Is, Williams. That's a that's a fortune getting getting the ball in there quickly as well. I think we, we saw originally what Strongman was trying to do. Got it up to Byron. Now I said have to take it back. As we see, has he reversed that? One, and it might actually be a 50 metre no. penalty. is actually going to be paid. We heard the whistle behind the play, and it may have been Mills again involved in that one there. So we we saw him give a downfield earlier in the game, and ended up being a coast to coast movement that uh, resulted in the goal. And now a chance for another one is uh, well makes it a formality really as uh, Williams comes in and kicks the goal. He uh, of course missed one earlier in the uh, in the first quarter but he kicks truly this time around and Pat I think he's been yellow carded Samuel sorry to cut you off right but he's there. either that or he's been dragged. And uh, certainly uh, Jason Darcy Malloy is uh, <laughs> giving him, him a, a bit of blip on the way out to his uh, Aquilina Samantha in place of Mills. Scoreboard here Panton Hill five goals straight 30. Murder two goals for 16 a bit of a uh, little discipline there 250 metre penalties given in that uh, little passage of play and allows Murder to score the easiest of goals it's Heidelberg leading 61 to 39 against Monty North Heidelberg 54 to 9 against the Fitzroy Star so the doggies look like advancing at this stage to take on Epping in next week's grand final here in the Grand final in Division 3, it's Matty Aquilino charging through to Rees, have done it nicely, Hutchison can get up to his left, here. plenty of space to run into the open goal and kicks a goal. Twice this quarter we've seen Panton Hill kick one, and just as quickly, Murder get the fast reply. First that it was Fowler kick the goal, this time it was Hutchison, 
and just as we mentioned, three goals now for Myrna, 3 4 22. Patton Hill, five goals 30. We just mentioned before that it was a handy little break that, that Patton Hill had established, but now again it's uh, eight points. Really just one kick in it, and we're back to a, a two point ball game. It certainly had some, some ebbs and flows this contest here. And that was great work from Myrna, just bursting through the midfield and the, and the run of Hutchinson. It's such a great kick as well, Hutchinson. Back in the centre of the ground now, McRae gets the tap down. Atkins in there, can't get possession of the ball. Parker tries to pick it up off the ground, but he can't try and control the ball either. Eventually does handball over the back of the head, finds a teammate, comes back to a strongman. His kick was very wayward. And like almost goes inside in, 50. Almost goes inside 50 for Mernda. And Mernda now trying, they've got possession again. Just evading a tackle there with the Mernda player. Parker though hands it off. Cranberg now, Panton Hill looking to go forward again. Cranberg now goes up to the wing. Oh, good spoil there from Atkin. And Murder should clear up out of defence. Saddington goes again. They've got some run out of half back now. Numbers at the line, the kick was an absolute shocker. That came out from O'Reilly. Fortunately, uh, beat uh, the man going for it in Bryce. It got to Hutchinson. Now, tap out from Bolt. A pay, a throw going to be paid though. And uh, free kick taken by Bryce. Chipping inside for a diving teammate there. Mark not taking a chance now for Atkins. Sends the ball long. Robinson at the foot of this one. Foul came through at the back of the pack. Full force to the front, picked up. Breeze, a lovely right little handball. Comes out to Robertson. Here's a left foot kick. He gets off the back there. And as the crowd reaction can tell you, he kicked a lovely goal. How good was that handball by Matty Reese? The little uh, the tunnel handball almost through the uh, opponent's legs onto Jai Robinson. He's a left foot kick. He couldn't really arc around as, as a left foot a left footer would like to, but uh, he was able. He's able to angle the ball on his left foot to just swing that opposite way, wasn't he? It was really good. It's really usually good uh, the left footers like to kick it left to right, but that time there he worked it back right to left, and a great goal. And for the first time today, Mernda has consecutive goals, and we have now only a two-point contest. Mernda four goals, four twenty-eight, leading Panther Hill. Five goals straight to I think someone has overstepped the line. The free kick is going to Panton Hill. The kick will be taken by the big man Ruckman in Cranberg. He's going to send them long inside 15. He does so to the leading players. Kick to, it looks like the Murder player is going to take it here. No, he doesn't. Comes out the back. Leading the race originally was O'Reilly, but now it's going to be carried over the line, is it? No, it doesn't. It stays in yet. Carried over the line there by O'Reilly. I think a, a, I think a Murder play may have overstepped the centre square there, so the free kick was paid to the big man Ruckman. Nice. Now we have a throw in Panton Hill attacking 50 here the umpire now throws it in to do the ruck book it's Keane up against Atkins Atkins kept his foot balls to the front of the pack O'Connor was the one who, who trapped it though but the handball was intercepted Howard now long kick it's an up and under underneath it Cranberg up against uh, McRae and Cranberg again just uh, I guess stamping his impact on this game. Takes the mark at 50, sets the kick up, top of the goal square, two on two situation at the back of the pack. It's uh, Varela running it out for Munda. Kicks it long up the wing of, wing of foot race now. Davies in amongst it too, waiting for the footy there for Munda, attacking it hard there. That was a good play there by O'Donnell, went again, but it's taken now by Gilmore of Panton Hill. He chips up, looking for Haydock, went over his head, couldn't be taken there. That, that, uh, might have been uh, the man there in, in Howard who tried to trap that one. Falls to the front of the pack. Going in hard. Keen. In and amongst it. Three on one here. It's Panton Hill's way. Extracted by Thorne. Kick inside 50. Attacking the footy. Atkins from the back. A good spoil. Now running through waves. Kick up the lines of beauty. Finds Reese who's been great. Shows some candy. He's got a man running through the middle of the ground. Gives it off. Another handball. There a chance here. Can go all the way. Aquilina off the boot. Has kicked a behind. We were waiting on the umpire's call, just went the wrong side of the post. A lovely end-to-end -end movement, great dash of half-back by Andrew O'Reilly there, and uh, Aquilina ran to 50, just couldn't put the ball through. Minor score, Mernda 4-5-29, Panton Hill five straight goals, the kick-out's been spoiled, and it's out of bounds, 55 metres out from Mernda's goal. So inside Mernda, or just... Just outside Myrna's forward 50. The umpire takes them inside 50. <laughs> he does take them inside 50 with that throw in. Thorns there, can't get a hand to it, but eventually cleared off the ground. Goes straight to a Myrna player, and they'll go inside 50. Hutchinson will to go inside 50 now with this kick here. Just telling his man to get back on the mark. Hutchinson, little left foot chip out further up the flank. Now they go inside 50, Myrna, and a good mark taken there from the Murna player. Rees again, it is. so he's had a great quarter, he's Matty Rees. been playing a lot around the, uh, the forward 50, Matty Rees. He's pushed up there, that, he's, he's almost resting at half, at half forward, forward pocket and, uh, and working through the midfield. Kick to the top square, foul, well, it fell on his hands, pardon the pump, but he couldn't quite take the mark. Fell, 
ball falls front of the pack. Darcy Moy hacks it out, but it's going to come in just as quickly. Hutchison run around it would be tackler. Chip on his left foot, kick a good uh, little block about at the back of the pack, and it might be a free kick. In fact, it's going to go his way, and uh, it's going to go the way. Is it? Won't go to uh, the man in the front of the pack. I wouldn't have thought it's going to go to the man who was behind. It's going to be Reese with the foot in his hand. He had laid previously a nice little shepherd for his teammate running back with the fly of the footy. But the umpire judged he was being held at the back of that pack and Reese a chance to put Murder in front. For it would be the first time since scoring the first behind of the day. It's uh, early in the first quarter. So Reese comes in 40 metres out. Kick on goal. Might be missing near side it is. He's just hooked the ball off the boot and scores are levelled here at Epping Recreation Reserve in the Division 3 Grand Final. Mernda, 4-6-30. Panton Hill, five straight goals. We've played 15 minutes in the second quarter. It was good courage by that Mernda play there, running with his back towards the pack. Didn't take the mark, but very good display of courage. The kick clears the 50 quite easily. Big pack, punch forward, falls straight into the hand of the Mernda player. He's going to spot up another no, just over the head. Maybe a high tackle. Yeah, the high tackle will be paid there. A bit unfortunate there as uh, Fowl stands the mark. Quick kick taken out of the fence. That was a more. Went to the uh, high street side. And strong mark taken. The front of the pack though. That's uh, Jacob O'Donnell. Kicks the ball inside 50. Spotted up a target. And again, it's that man Matthew Rees who's having a dominant second term. And uh, certainly he's been murdered as what he thought their best. Certainly in their best couple. And he chips inside and the mark taken inside forward 50 by Jesse Owens Draper. A few of these players had the long sleeves on the start of the game. They've uh, certainly taken them off as quickly. Joffa Byron was one for Panton Hill. And I see uh, Robinson and, and so too uh, here with Jesse Owens Draper taking it off. So Owens Draper will put his side in front. The margin, well, it all depends on this kick. A goal will make it a six point buffer. Obviously, the minor score will make it just the one pointers. He comes in now from 35. He's a lovely kick of goal, is Owen Schrafer. And uh, that's the uh, the commentator's curse as he misses to the near side. A few chances go begging here for Murder. But uh, nevertheless, they do take the lead. 4 7 31. Plays five straight goals. Just interestingly, you look at the, uh, the shots or the total scoring shots 11 to 5. So Murder's certainly doing more of the attacking. Uh, Panton Hill's goals, have all, or scoring shots, have all, all been goals, so they've been a, a really efficient going forward. So this is a long kick down the heart of the ground, and running onto the footy as Craneberg moves like an on-baller, not a ruckman, kicks it quickly. It's going to fall to the back of the pack, waiting for the ball. Oh, bad bounce for Abe Williams. He waited at the back of the pack. He got the fortunate bounce first time around, not second time around. He's still good enough now to pick it up. Goes around attack tackle. He's held by one arm. A fine smother late, and that's by Luke Flakes. He's going to run the ball out of the fence. Has it, we couldn't get it to Mills, but instead Mills off to uh, Leia Shepard. He goes up to half, to the ring rather, and the front mark is taken. That was by Curlis. Off to a running Rowan Davies. Chip inside for foul. Lovely ball move. They've got men on the outside. One's Hutchison. And he's probably better advised now to go back and have his shot on goal. Great defensive work at, at half back there. Was, uh, the tackle by Drakes running out of the fence there was uh, O'Reilly. And... Uh, Two prong the fence there on A. Williams. I thought he he actually thought he'd probably broken the tackle, but they just grabbed him by the wrist. against Shannon Darcy, although he was loitering close to the man on the marks. So I'm just wondering whether, whether he's in, got within that uh, infringement zone and, and uh, been pinned for it. As Fowl now to kick his second goal of the quarter, and Murnder will take a seven-point buffer, and Fowl kicks it straight through the middle. Crowd enjoying this comeback here by Murnder. They've kicked the past three goals of this contest. Firstly through Hutchison, then Robinson, and now by Tommy Fowl. And that was probably their best uh, bit of play for the day. Firstly, the tackle out of the bench, Jordan, then the run and carry, and some great targets found there. The, the strong mark taken in half four. That was by uh, Curlis running up, and, and a great hit by Davies running through. Such great footy to watch. I mean, firstly, from, from you know a fantastic one for centre down here in the back pocket with the smother, and then running up the wing, going in in board, and, and then Fell taking the mark inside four fifty, and it culminated into, into a goal, which they really deserve. So I can now do the ruck work against Keane, the two-second ruckman in the centre of the ground now. Akin gets it on in favour of Davies. Davies just needs to get on the end of this one, but instead it goes to O'Donnell instead. O'Donnell now moves inside 50, good kick. China spot fell just off hands though. Panton Hill should come out of the Oh, into the favour of Murder on the ground. No one can get a clean possession of it. And Rising picked out of that. So the whistle's been blown and uh, Panton Hill will have a free kick at 
at full back. Just needing to steady the, uh, the play here, Pant. They're under the pump. Murder certainly making their charge. Long kick looking for Kramberg. Why wouldn't you go to him? He's been so dominant. And well, he nearly outmarked too. They just couldn't bring the ball to ground level as he kicks it long. Up and under kick at the back of the pack. That's going to be a push out though. It's going to go get Strongman. And now free kicks taken straight away. Advantage played rather. Kick inside. Looking for, well, it's going to come at the back to Owen Straper anyway. Oh, and and the push in the back. Jesse Owen Straper. And uh, maybe just beyond his scoring range. The man on the mark stands about 45 metres out. See, Saddington's made a little dash down forward. Hasn't used him just yet. He's still go. Now he's manned up. He's uh, taking the onus upon himself is Owen Straper and from 50 the kick was an ugly looking one It's not going to have the carry nearly taken by the foul running back of the fly of the ball Falls off his hands and in for a minor score and 20 minutes now played in the second term It's Mernda 5 8 30 Panton Hill 5 goals straight Pardon me 5 8 38 plays 5 goals straight 30 some of the stats this quarter just seems David that uh, Mernda's really getting on top through the middle and, and into their forward half I'll give you the inside 50s. We've got Mernda leading the way with 17 to Panton Hills, only 7. The ink, uh, four marks inside 50 for Mernda. Panton Hills got three, so when they're getting in there, Panton Hills, generally they're making the most of their opportunities. And it was only the it was only the bounce of the ball that cost them on their last entrance inside 50. But as you said, yeah, around the ground, you've got Mernda on top. You've got a throw in, comes down to Davies, clears it with a handball just for space. It does bounce into the hands of Owen Straker. He takes a bounce. He takes another. He's inside 50 now. Handball over the top. That comes, that comes to Perlis. He has a shot on goal. Yeah! running carry it all started from that that throw in on that far side Davies just attracted the ball got it on to Aquilina and it's just that running carry through the middle of the ground again we just spoke about you talked about their uh, their dominance uh, getting the ball inside 50 this quarter you can add another one to that stat sheet but just uh, running in waves and you just saw when the uh, when the goal was kicked there was a lot of pant and hill play still waiting at the back of that uh, initial throwing where the contest was, was brought in and the Mernda midfield has certainly run on it's a great goal by Aquilina Five goals straight in 30. That's Panton Hill Murder. 6 8 44. They go inside 50 yet again. It's going to be repelled this time out. A long kick out of the fence. Now, who's home for uh, Panton Hill? Keen's running at the footy, but the foot race is going to be won by Saddington, and he's content to run that ball out of bounds. So, Panton Hill certainly feeling the pinch here. They've conceded the past four goals. Atkins will do the ruck work. He's up against Keen. Throw in goes. Atkins works his way to the front of the front spot, taps it out the space of Davies, tries to charge for a tackle, couldn't break it. Umpire said that he got the handball out as Ben Parker watches it trickle out of bounds. So if you are just tuning in, it is Myrna, 6 goals, 8.44, leading Panton Hill, 5 goals straight, 30, 22 and a half minutes played in the second term. As the ball now extracted, Panton Hill's way, Thorne gets it over the top to his teammate there, handball pulls up, another handball almost there, that was from Gilmore. And we'll have another throw in. Far side, it is a high street win. Still plenty of numbers in the crowd over on that far side as well. It is great to see. His umpire throws it in. Atkins just thump, thumps the ball forward on about 20 metres. Foot race into the middle of the ground. Parker wins it. Handball will miss this target there and streaming through Staddington. Kicks up the line looking for Curlis. Couldn't take the mark over his head. Coming out of half back now. That's uh, Strongman. Kicks looking for uh, the big man in Kramberg. He's going to get it on the bounce. Handball's inside, but it's going to be cut off now. Mernda just reading the play beautifully here across the past five minutes or so, reading the opposition's hands. And that kick inside 50 is a good one. Spots up the target there. And looks like it's uh, Andrew O'Reilly has pushed forward now from 50. Has a shot. It's going to sit in the top of the goal square. Big fly came. Ball staying down was. Was that Moon Visit Robinson may have been staying down at ground level, ball touched. In fact, it may have been Dayton, and we have a minor score as the ball comes off a pack of hands. Mernda, six goals, 9.45. Panton Hill, five straight, 30. So Panton Hill now to bring this out of defence. I think it's Brundle who's been doing all the kicking out for Panton Hill so far in this uh, in this these first two quarters. And he's going to go out to... He's gone long every time. He's gone long every time. And he's gone out to the far side as well. He does mm. that again. His target just drops the mark, and there's been a free kick of Warden. So Panton Hill will get it just on the edge of their defensive 50 and again they'll go up this uh, that far side of the wing a little chip up and he just hits the target good mark there that's Byron though he's taking that mark look how high he's at the work up I think the they're trying to get him into the game drop for Byron because he hasn't done much inside forward 50 when it gets down there so I think the uh, Penn Hill coach is just trying to trying to get his hands 
get him into the game by uh, pushing him off the ground a bit. A strong mark taken overhead there. He's looking strong on the far side of the ground. Now he can go inside 50. Kick in hope. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Mills is going to do the spoiling for Munda. Ball falls to ground level. Parker will ricochet off his boot. Mark will try to claim the mark. Oh, it's going to be a high for a kick, but it was uh, Farella. I think he thought it might have travelled the 15. He's run into trouble now. He's played on. Wasn't the best idea. Now it's picked up by Keane. Quick stab on goal with his numbers back, fortunately, for Murnda. And Murnda have the numbers on this outer side as it comes to their back pocket play. He centers the ball now, looks for Hutchison. Hutchison takes the mark about 40 metres up. they can go now as well. Right up the ground. Look at that. Plays in space. Uncontested mark. He's going to play on immediately. That is Dayton. He goes long and finds his full forward lead. Is the mark paid? Yes, it is. He finds the leading Cameron Curlis. And Curlis takes the mark about 40 metres out. Slight angle. But from this distance, based on his previous performance, you think he put this one through. I, mean, I remember mentioning in the first quarter how Panton Hill was the side really running out of, through waves out of half back, and it was Myrna being forced wide. The last couple of passages of play from Myrna, just straight down the middle, hitting up targets. That time there, a lovely kick by Hutchison, really split open the ground, and then to, uh, to find uh, Curlis, oh, pardon me, uh, yeah, it is Curlis on the lead who's taking this mark now. It was two great hits, both of them going 50 metres, giving really the defender no chances. Curlis comes in, hasn't kicked the goal today. He has now. Munda playing some irresistible football here in his second term, shooting out to what's now a 21 point lead. Munda, seven goals, 9 51. Panton Hill, five goals straight, 30. We've played 26 minutes, boys, in, of this second term, and Mernda has now kicked five consecutive goals. You were mentioning, Sam, that uh, Panton Hill haven't had that run out of defence like we saw in the first quarter. And you can, I think Dean Haydock, he, he's one of the main contributors to that, but he's been unsighted in the second quarter. He hasn't had any, almost no disposals of the ball in, this, in the second quarter. Now out of the middle, Mernda, handball off to uh, Davies now. Murder now going inside, forward 50, plenty of players under this one. Who could, Oh, a big fly there from Murder player, but he couldn't take it. A free kick's been awarded to Panton Hill, and they'll try and rebound out of defence. Let's see if they can get some run on here out of half-back. They come out of this broadcast side. Kareinberg will take the mark. This player's just starting to get into, uh, into position in front of him here. Saddington is on the tail of Keane. Keane can't take it, though, and Reece should mop up here for Murder. Great shepherd. Very shepherd by the Murder player there. Chipping in board now. Hutchinson receives a handball. Goes on the left foot inside forward 50. There's a two-on-one contest in favour of Panton oh, Hill. But the murder player plays, plays, uh, takes the mark. It was Marcus Saddington. Marcus Saddington on the broadcast side wing with that great shepherd on, on Keane. Which set the murder player in a bit of space and has set up this shot on goal. And He's a fair way out, Samuel. He, Zach Berlino, he did kick a goal though earlier in this quarter as well, just probably about uh, not even 10 minutes ago. So he's going to back himself again from 50. That one's going to fall short. Big pack emerges. Big fly came. Uh, well, Mernda, big man, but uh, unable to bring it. Well, <laughs> unable to probably get hands on the pretty in the end. It's probably the fair summation as it all fisted through for a minor score. Mernda doing all the attacking this quarter here, leading seven goals, 10 52 to five straight 30 around the grounds. Half time, Montmorency, four goals, two, pardon me, Montmorency, six goals, 6 42. Heidelberg efficient in front of the big sticks, 11 1 67. So it's Heidelberg by 25 points. Elsewhere at half time, North Heidelberg, 11 9 75, leading the Fitzroy Stars, three goals, 5 23. So it's looking like a North Heidelberg versus Epping Grand Final next week with North up by 52 points at half time. Here though, the Panton Hill cutoff, Panton Hill kick cutoff at half back by Atkins, but it's going to be a free kick and it's going to go to Keane. I'm not sure what that was for, but Keane will take the free kick, he handballs on, handballs on to the running Simon Amor, but he hands it back. They go inside 50, the target there in a lot of space is Brendan O'Connor, but the kick is slightly out of his reach and the ball will bounce out. We're about 30 metres out from Panton Hill's goal. We're going to have a ball thrown in. We're late into the second quarter. Couldn't be too far from half time. Murder with a dominating second quarter. They're 7 10 52. Panton Hill a five straight 30. Well, they've turned a 15 point deficit into a 22 point lead here. It's been a great quarter. Really put the foot down as Davies, where he just pinched that one out of the pack, kicks it up the line. A strong mark taken. That's a courageous one by uh, Panton Hill Strongman. And he's probably out. Uh, beyond his scoring reach from here, and he just throws the ball to the umpire. And what was a great quarter of footy for Mernda, really piling on the goals in that term. They kicked one only in the first quarter. That term there, they kicked six for the quarter. Mernda kicked six goals and uh, seven behinds. 
to Panton Hills two straight. So 13 scoring shots to two. And with that, Mernda takes a 22 point lead into half time. It's Mernda, seven goals, 10, 52. Leading at Panton Hill, five goals straight, 30. For uh, the forwards with Fell kicking two goals. You also saw one to Aquilina, one to Robinson. Hutchison also kicked one as well. And uh, as such, Moon are now in the commanding position going into the long break. Around the grounds, as we mentioned, of course, Heidelberg leading 11 goals, 167. Moon, Montmorency rather, six goals, 642. So it's Heidelberg by 25.